Oh, hey. Aha! Science. Hi there, I'm just a fun science nerd who got excited about this cool robotics paper. I am in no way associated with the research team or this project. I just wanted to present their exciting findings in a fun infographic style video. Of course, you can find the links below. Enjoy. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Have one of your robotic loved ones fallen and couldn't get up? Well, you are not alone. Every day, dozens of robots fall over. Even the most sophisticated of robots fall and can't get up. But not anymore. Robot going through gravel? No problem. Robot traveling through various shapes? Simple. Attacker poking your robot with a stick? Oddly specific, but no sweat. You can't keep this guy down. The secret is a revolutionary algorithm and neural network. The old method of programming a robot line by line is difficult and makes robots' movements stiff and unable to adapt to changing situations and environments. No wonder they fall over. However, using a neural network, robots can create their own movements, practice them, refine them, and adapt them for changing situations in a process similar to organic evolution. That's right, folks. I said organic, so it must be good. I know this can be overwhelming, so let me break it down to you with an example. Imagine you want to create a soccer-playing robot because nobody has the time these days to play soccer for themselves, am I right? It's impossible to program each movement that a robot may experience during a game, but you can give a robot a tool set of skills. For example, dribbling, running, shooting, jumping, etc. The robot isn't told exactly how to perform each skill, rather it simply knows what the goal of the skill is. This allows the robot to randomly try different things to accomplish the goal. If a move helps it to accomplish the goal, the robot is rewarded, and the movement is recorded as part of the skill set. In this way, the robot can practice and master each of these individual skills under a wide array of situations. Once the robot has mastered each of these skills, the robot can play the soccer game by combining each of the skills. Now robots are learning similar to the way you and I learn. In the case of getting up, this robot has practiced eight different skills under a wide range of circumstances. These skills include balance while standing, trotting, rolling, turning left, and most importantly of all, turning right. These skills were refined under a wide range of tests and circumstances, such as adding weight and throwing blocks at the robot. So you can be guaranteed that each of these skills are well versed. Thus, having the robot call on and combine each of these different skills as it encounters new situations allows it to adapt and corrects itself if it falls. What's more, you can even see which skills the robot is using at any given time thanks to the powerful bar graphical display. I mean, just look at the difference. Before. Using neural networks to train robots allows them to learn tasks faster and be more able to adapt to changing environments. So, could a neural network help one of your robotic loved ones? Then subscribe now to lock in your ability to get more science news with absolutely no cost to you. That's right, it's absolutely free if you subscribe now. And the next time your robot falls and can't get up, well, Gather your nearest robotics and computer science research team to develop a simple neural network for your robot.